Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be discussing the permissible limits for different components, for different elements and for different chemical, biological and physical properties of the solids. So of the water basically. So this is a table for permissible limits. You should at least learn these values for some important elements and for important properties. There are innumerous elements, but I have extracted the most important elements and the properties for which the permissible limits should be remembered forever. There is one more term called as CRV. CRE, CRV is cause for rejection value. This is always greater than or equal to the permissible limits. Suppose if for an element permissible limit is 1 milligram per liter, then CRV can be 20, can be 10, can be 1, but it cannot be less than 1, cannot be. Because cause for rejection value, when do we reject some particular uh, value? We will reject in some very uh, extreme case. In some cases, these values are not uh, as usual. कहीं कहीं जगह पर क्या होता है जो वाटर होता है वो बहुत एक्सट्रीम होता है या आपको यूज करना बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट होता है तो उस केस में परमिसिबल लिमिट्स ना देख के वी सी द कॉज फॉर रिजेक्शन वैल्यू एंड इट इज आल्सो इन द केसेस वेयर अल्टरनेट सोर्सेज आर नॉट प्रेजेंट वेयर यू डू नॉट हैव एनी ऑप्शन इन सच केसेस यू विल हैव टू कंसीडर द सीआरवी बट यू कैन नॉट रिमेंबर द सीआरवी फॉर सच big number of elements and properties so it is always better to remember the permissible limit it is more often asked and suppose it is asked in combination permissible limit and crv then you you are at least in a position to answer it partially okay so uh, let us discuss about them so these are the elements and these are the properties so free ammonia is has a permissible limit of 0.15 milligram per liter nitrite cannot be cannot be compensated at all it cannot be uh, even to 0 0.001 milligram per liter it should be 0 milligram per liter it should be completely absent in the water uh, nitrate 45 milligram per liter then fluorides 1 milligram per liter copper 0 0.05 milligram per liter then iron should be 0 0.3 milligram per liter the more is the permissible limit the lesser harmful is that element or that property you see that nitrate has a permissible limit of 45 milligram per liter that shows that it is less harmful and nitrite has a permissible limit of 0 milligram per liter that shows how harmful nitrite is what does nitrite shows nitrite actually shows the presence of the uh, organic content or the microorganisms so it cannot be tolerated in any condition uh, manganese 0.1 mg per liter sulfates 200 mg per liter silver again it is harmful 0.1 mg per liter mercury very harmful 0.001 mg per liter lead very harmful 0.01 mg per liter magnesium 30 mg per liter and this is dissolved oxygen dissolved oxygen should be greater than 4 ppm so that aquatic life can exceed in one of the videos i explained you one curve sac curve where this is the oxygen deficient this should be greater than 4 ppm because below this value below the 4 ppm value aquatic life will be endangered now coming on to the second portion of the table that is the properties it consists of physical chemical as well as some biological properties so turbidity as measured in terms of ntu it should be one ntu not more than that uh, color 5 tcu uh, tcu is the unit of measurement of color and then temperature tolerable temperature is 10 to 25 uh, we can be on the lesser side but being on the higher side is always dangerous in terms of water because more temperature gives rise to more number of microorganisms and their activity pace increases to about 10 times with every one degree increase in the temperature dissolved solids can be 500 milligram per liter they are not that dangerous alkalinity 200 milligram per liter ph this is the nominal range of pH 6.5 to 8.5, neither too basic, neither too acidic, not too acidic. Hardness 200 mg per liter when measured in terms of CaCO3. We always measure uh, the hardness and alkalinity in terms of CaCO3 because this is this has a molecular weight of 100 grams and it makes the calculations easier. Chlorides 250 mg per liter, taste and order 1 ton, 1 ton. 
देन ऑयल एंड ग्रीस टेन मिलीग्राम पर लीटर BOD 5, the 5 day BOD, the standard BOD, this is called as standard BOD. So this is 20 milligram per liter. COD, chemical oxygen demand should be 250 milligram per liter. And MPN, most probable number that is used for coliform checking, it should be 1 per 100 millimeter. This is very dangerous, very dangerous. So this is all about the permissible limits. And check out many more videos on environmental engineering. Thank you everyone.